Swanson! Come on! What? Mr. Morgan! I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. How's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? I can't, partners. <laughs> I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I gotta get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. You have no idea. Reverend, stop! Get your hands off I him. Didn't say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. Oh my god, I killed him. I'm gonna keep the law on you. Hey you! Get back here! You better stop right there. Stay away from me. Stop, you son of a bitch. I said stop, damn it. Okay, okay. You know anyone, what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. The last thing I need. Uh, now what? Where's Reverend? You. What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <laughs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? 
I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But. I was wondering when he'd show up. You all right? <laughs> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Ah, hello, Mr. Morgan.
always putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Partner, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmen de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feller's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned, hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. Watch it. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. You see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. 
I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. My good young man. Fare thee well, fare thee well. <laughs> is your father home, son? Sure is. Get him down here. Please, get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I was just telling uh, uh, your, uh, Junior, what's your name, sir? Robert Crawford the Third, sir. The, oh, pleasure to meet you, both of you. Uh, my name. My name is. Now don't tell no one because in New York, I'm kind of famous. I once performed on Broadway. Now that's not important or relevant. I have been saved. I have been found. Oh, no, I, I saw it in your eyes. You think I'm a nut? You think I'm a nut, Bob Crawford the Third? I ain't interested in no religious talk. I'm not a religious man. I respect your family. I respect you. I got something that's way better than church. And twice as you. Preach. Oh. 
all the good. How much will it cost me? I'm offering you virility and you're asking me about money, sir. I ain't made of money, Mr. Pyrex. A reasonable. Have a think about it. I'll be around this way next. Bye. Gentlemen. Yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Come on, let's get this thing moving. You should have been more careful. Yeah, sorry. Must have left the dresser open. Yep. Hey, slow it down. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. None too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. Slow down. You'll burn out the horses. No doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. Exactly. So how long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Are we heading in the right direction? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. <laughs> 